Hi ghouls and masters, welcome back to my channel. Remember that my channel is not made for kids and it is only made for the adult collectors or for the adults who want to purchase these products for their kids. Everyone, we have another core G3 Monster High doll and it is Miss Cleo Denial. Yes, the queen of gold, the queen of everything, the queen of tinsel, the queen that ruled over all her subjects that went to Monster High. I adore Cleo. She was always the mean girl, but she had sides of her that were really nice and her character arc is just incredible. She was incredibly mean at first, but then she started getting closer to the ghouls and I just really loved her storyline throughout the original Monster High and I'm glad Cleo is returning and it seems to be that Cleo is going to be as iconic as ever. And if you watched my Frankie video, I explained in that one how I got Frankie and the same thing happened with Cleo. I do not have any of the other ghouls that being Claudine or Draculaura but if I had to get another one it would definitely be Draculaura so I'll keep up posted if that happens. There's a rumor that these are officially releasing on October the 1st so y'all stay tuned on October the 1st and they might be out by then. I sure do hope so. Without further ado let's look at Cleo's packaging. Here is Cleo in box and again I'm not gonna go too in depth with this packaging because I did go in a lot of detail with Frankie's so I would just point out things that are maybe more exclusive to Cleo. Like first up here Cleo is front and center in this little artwork and it does say Cleo Denial in this cute little bubble letter and I love the little mummy wrap over the C. Cleo's art again is my favorite out of all the ghouls. I just think she looks incredible. Then right here we do see Cleo. I already did take her out of the packaging but I did put her back in. I have not felt the accessories yet though. Then on the side right here we get the little all over print but of Cleo's things this time which is very very cool. Quite obsessed with that. Again on this side we get the Monster High logo and right here I forgot to show y'all is Tut her new pet which I'm actually obsessed with. It's really stinging cute and doesn't really have pixelated eyes like Frankie's pet Watsy. Then on the back we get a bigger look at the artwork. We get the other ghouls. We get Cleo right there. We get Cleo's little bio that says monster type fabulous royal mummy, monster must have, sarcophagus and pyramid backpack, and monster pet type. Then on the bottom it does say go to monsterhigh.com. I can't wait to go on there. I hope they do update it for G3. It would be really cool. Then on the bottom I will show y'all the barcode because y'all are always asking for it. So I want to make sure I show y'all that. And that is pretty much it for this packaging. Nothing too drastically different. What we really need to get into is the doll itself and the accessories. So I will see y'all in a bit once I get Miss Cleo out of the box and I'll show y'all a little bit of comparison at the end of the video. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Something that I quickly did want to add is thank y'all for all the love you have been showing me on my Instagram and YouTube for my Frankie posts. I am just really appreciative. I'm just really thankful for y'all for all of that and I do plan on doing a giveaway on my Instagram because I did reach 5,000 followers which is really exciting. I think I might do a giveaway with the new Monster High when they officially release so y'all stay tuned to my Instagram for that. And again, this is just a full circle moment for me because what started my channel was Monster High and I feel like all those fans that watched me with Monster High are coming back and that's just incredible. I just wanted to add that right before we got into all the Cleo things. And we're back. All right, everyone, I have Cleo and all her accessories out of the packaging. Let's talk about those individually. To start, Cleo did come with a backpack that I'm kind of obsessed with and it is a pyramid, like it's a very thick pyramid and it has some scarabs on it. The scarabs were very Nefra's motif, so I don't know why there's scarabs on it. Would have been cute if there were snakes. But it, I love this cute little arch up here. And it does open, but it is an incredibly really hard plastic. Like this is almost like a brick, kind of. And it does have straps on the back. So Cleo can put it on. And it. I feel like this is another one of the pack packs that's gonna be really tight. Maybe not because of how bendy this is, We'll definitely have to check. Cleo also came with these glasses that I'm not sure if we've seen before, but again, this one also does have that grainy feel for the glasses, like the Frankie one did. But I like the little mummy wraps on the side. Then Cleo also came with a pet. This is Tut, and they are so cute. I think they're like an Egyptian dog or hound, and they are so cute. There's like no pixelation in the eyes, really. I love that. They have a cute little crown up top. 
I love the necklace. The necklace is not removable. And it has this cool little like pharaoh moment in the back that looks incredible. This little dog is just adorable. I'm really obsessed with this pet. I think I prefer them more than Watsi, honestly. Then Cleo came with a lot of cute little tiny accessories. First, there's this cup that is so stinking cute. And it's very Egyptian inspired. I love the little top and the holder like both can be held because this is actually a cup so she can pour this right here and drink out of the cup which is really cool and it looks like hieroglyphics on there as well it looks really nice then she has her cell phone that also has the same figure can y'all tell me what this is in um egyptian in the culture i completely forget i know i saw this in moon Knight, but just uh, let me know, but it is gold and I love the phone so much and right here you can see all the apps and everything. It has Cleo Skelet, a little heart. I love all the little apps. Then Cleo has a wrap, literally a wrap, and it is so cool. It has, it looks really almost photorealistic, honestly. It doesn't have like any spiders or anything on it, but it has the greens like lettuce maybe beans as well it looks really cool and it's a wrap and it's wrapped like a mummy wrap then cleo has this jewel which is makeup so you can open this and inside you get some makeup this one does look pixelated but the fact that it opens it's everything now for a little test let's see if all these little accessories fit in the bag so let's just open this here and see if everything fits in here or what doesn't fit so everything fits in here except for this little cup yeah it's too much but everything else does fit in here which is really nice and i love the jingly noise next cleo also came with this jacket which is a choice i'm not a fan of this jacket it just feels very cheap personally to me uh, i like the idea behind it but i don't think the execution was good enough it's just the fabric is kind of stiff a little and I wish it was kind of hemmed. It just kind of feels unfinished and I don't understand why there's hoops right here and everything else is just falling and this looks like it's caught but no it's not. It's literally sewn as a circle on both sides which is a choice. I'm not sure what that's all about but it is the mummy wrap pattern and it does have like teal as well on there. Now onto the queen herself, Miss Cleo Denial. Let's get into all these details because yes, there are things I like and there's things I don't like. I will point out all those things. First, let's start with Cleo's hair. Cleo's hair in this one, she has no bangs, but Cleo didn't always have bangs, so that's not something I don't mind. A uh, future Cleo doll might have bangs, so that's why I don't really mind it. This Cleo has no black hair. She does have like a deep blue. She does have a, a lighter blue and kind of like a teal mixed in here. Then mixed in with all of that, she does have tinsel. I will say her hair is very soft, kind of like Frankie's. It's really soft in that way, even with the tinsel in here. I usually don't like tinsel on dolls, but I let it pass if it's for a Cleo Denial doll or an Abby Abominable doll. And I think it's really great on this Cleo. I really like the tinsel and everything on her and I like how long the hair is it goes to her um, shins I think those are her shins it goes up to right here but it looks really nice and I love how long it is and how iconic she looks she does have this headband that is in gold and it does have multiple paint which I'm obsessed with in teal and kind of a reddish orange color and it kind of looks like a fan moment then she does have pyramid earrings that are triangle shaped and they're really textured and they look really cool. For her face, she does have a beautiful face, I would say personally. I really like it. The only complaint I have is the pupil is blue. I wish it was black, but other than that, I'm really obsessed with it. So the first pictures that we saw of Cleo that leaked did not have this dramatic makeup and I'm glad it, that Cleo kept it. It's very Cleo. For her makeup, it's yellow and gray. And then she has a little hint of blue right there. And I love how her eyelashes are stylized right there. And she does have yellow on the under eye and a little bit of blue on the inner corner. Then her brows aren't as detailed as Frankie's, but I don't mind. It does have the little cutouts of an individual hair up front there. And I love this little crook right here for the eyelash. 
Cleo does not have her iconic jewel, which I do miss a lot, but I'm gonna add that myself, but I wish she did have it. She does have blush, of course, and she does have the iconic nose structure that Cleo had, which kind of wore two lines on her nose. They're still there. They're still out. Don't worry. And I love Cleo's lips a lot. They are this reddish color. They're like really red. And then they have a little bit of gold on the bottom lip. There's gold as well. And it's really cute. Then for Cleo's outfit, everyone, it's it's kind of a hit or miss. I like all the plastic pieces. So this necklace is really nice. And it is gold. It has blue on there, teal, green. This orange color, reddish orange. It's so nice. I love this collar piece. But something else I really like is the belt as well. The belt is kind of like a bendy material and it is gold. It has green and blue. I love the multiple colors on there. But then we get onto this outfit. This outfit is kind of cheap. Frankie's outfit felt really nice. This one feels really cheap. It's kind of a stiff fabric. Y'all know that fabric that is those sweatpants that you wear and every time you walk it makes noise? That's kind of what this fabric is giving me and I don't like that for Cleo because she was always high end. And when I did sort my Cleo clothes to do that Night of a Thousand Cleos photo shoot, the clothes felt really nice. Even the Reboot G2 stuff felt nice. So this is honestly the worst feeling texture of any Cleo that I have felt personally, which is kind of disappointing. But... I see what they were going for, I just wish it was a better fabric. I wish the mummy wraps were a different fabric and it was softer like her OG outfit, but it's that same material, which is disappointing. So the dress itself has mummy wraps on the sleeves, then it does have this intricate pattern up front. I love the pattern a lot though. It has yellows there, a little blue and a darker blue. I love all that mixed together. Then there are gold ribbons on the bottom and down the side of it as well and there's some of it on the collar too but honestly overall it's just a little plain and then on this side there's nothing kind of disappointing honestly then we go on to cleo shoes which <laughs> is something else i don't like and these are getting removed for sure i see what they were going for but i wish there was cutouts in here they are bandaged boots they are healed they have gold. I do like the multiple paint, like that bright orange and that little teal color. And then the heel is really nice. It's like a crook, which is really cool. But it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Cleo is so iconic with the outfits. And this outfit is definitely not my favorite. But, you know, I'm going to change her, so I don't really mind. Cleo does not come with a stand. I'm just using this old stand but just for this Cleo personally you can use the regular monster eye clip for Frankie though you cannot use the regular clip it has to be one of the monsters clip and that's the differentiation in the body types right there also for Cleo for her articulation is the same as Frankie so she does have the new bust pivot right there which I adore and Cleo also has the mummy wraps that she had on her G2 doll down this leg on the other doll, it was like all over her torso and down this full left leg. But right here, she only has it from her knee to her foot, which is really nice. And she does have it on this arm as well. It doesn't go all the way up here. It just goes from the elbow to this hand right here. I'll show that better once I undress Cleo and do a little body comparisons. And Cleo herself, her skin kind of has a shimmery shine. And her skin color is slightly different. It's just a little bit tanner. And I honestly am obsessed with that. I really like the tanner skin tone for her. So y'all, I will see y'all in a bit once I undress Cleo so we can look at a little different body comparisons. I don't have a G1 Cleo body. So I'll probably show the Frankie body again. And we can look at G2's body. And we can then look at G3 Cleo's body. So I'll see you on a bit once I have that ready. While I'm dressing Cleo, I did notice something. The boot is, y'all know how the boots are usually cut up all the way? This one doesn't have that cut up top. So it's just a slit, but like there's still room up there. That's really interesting. You can probably cut it yourself. I honestly think I do prefer that because it keeps kind of the boot together. So here are the different bodies. From left to right, we have just a regular Monster High body. Then we have G2 and G3 Cleo. So something I've been noticing 
So something I did notice is the arm length is the same on all three dolls. Then the leg length is what differs. So Cleo does have longer legs, but a smaller torso than the G1 and G2 dolls, which is interesting. Cleo, of course, the new one does have more stylized hands. So take a look at that. And do you see the wraps on this Cleo? So she had it all over her torso, up her neck, then all over her left arm and right leg. So they did change that a little on the new Cleo. And to show the arched feet differences, G3, original. G3, original. Just so you can see the differences there. And then the differences in the face is kind of drastic. So for this one, I don't really have a G1 Cleo. I have something that might have been a G1 Cleo. This is basically a Comic-Con Cleo. She was meant to be for Comic-Con, but they I think they ended up selling her on Amazon or something. But this Cleo kind of has a really, really nice face. It might be one of my favorite Cleo faces ever, personally. Here are the differences in the faces, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. So obviously G2 has like a very baby face. And G3 is kind of, again, I feel like a marriage between G1 and G2. That is just what I feel. It's kind of a mixture of both. The lips are different on Cleo. Are they? They're like slightly different. They're really not that different. I don't know why for this Hong Couture Cleo, they completely changed her lips for some reason. So this Cleo did come in on an original body, but I think I sold that body and I did put her in a G2 body because I do like that body. It's all about that body adi adi y'all. So those are the differences and everything. You can see that her eye color changed as well. Her eye color was a teal color. Now it is a yellowy color. I don't mind the eye color change personally. And her brows are iconic now and everything. And a darker color, I think, from her OG. But I'm glad they kept that nose structure that Cleo was iconically known for. So y'all let me know what y'all think. And obviously she has a... Uh, tanner skin tone which i really like all right i'm gonna go dress her and put the jacket on her and i will see y'all in a bit once i have her fully dressed sadly something i won't do is put her in any of her g1 outfits or g2 outfits because i will save that for the photo shoot so go over to my instagram i'm not sure if it'll be up by then but i will have cleo in a lot of outfits that she might fit in and let me just tell you there's a lot that she can so y'all stay tuned for that and check out my instagram let me go dress cleo and we'll see her with everything on all right y'all so here i have cleo fully dressed so the backpack definitely fits a lot easier than frankie's it's not as tight and here's how the jacket looks i just feel like this outfit is a hot mess it's kind of like all over the place when you add the jacket it looks a lot better without the jacket but i'm still changing this cleo because this dress ain't it y'all but overall i really do like this cleo for a little height comparison here's frankie next to cleo frankie is significantly taller now look at that look at that look at that frankie's taller now and here's cleo next to deuce I think they look incredible together. In my world, they're never broken up. The last comparison I will make is Cleo's pets through the generations. So from left to right, we have the OG iconic classic his set, which is a snake that is a uh, minty color and had gold accents. Then we have G2, which I personally called them Anubis. And they are a little cute kitty cat. I think it's like a leopard kitty cat and they have a cute little necklace that does come off and then we have tut who is a dog so cleo has had a snake a cat and a dog which is pretty iconic i personally love them all i love all her pets cleo is just always iconic and there was a variation to his set with the comic-con doll and this his set was just gold which is really cool so here is all of Cleo's pets iterated through the generations. I feel like Cleo was spared with the pets and uh, they look incredible. I do love all of them a lot. Now for my final thoughts on Cleo Denial. So Cleo is such an iconic character. Uh, her outfit for this one is a flop for me personally. That is mainly what I don't like, that the jacket, the fabric pieces just aren't it. I love the hair and everything, the length of the hair, how soft the hair is, it's really incredible. And the tinsel is a really high quality tinsel because usually I don't like tinsel and this one feels really nice. And then the face, it's snatched, I'm obsessed with the face, except I wish the pupil was black instead of that blue color. Again, for $25, 
completely worth it with all the accessories and everything. But if you dress her in something else, I just honestly do feel she'll be better. And I really do enjoy this Cleo. And I cannot wait to see her in the webisodes or in the episodes. They're no longer going to be webisodes in the episodes that are coming out and the booby. But y'all let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing about this Cleo is. How are you feeling about this new generation of Monster High? Just let me know. Anyways, y'all, I'm really excited and I adore Cleo and I'm so glad I did manage to get her. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified of my next video. And I'll definitely see y'all next time. Bye!